What's up guys, IDK Player here, coming back with a brand new NASCAR Heat 4 News video, and today we are going to be taking a look at confirmed Dirt Series tracks that will be coming into NASCAR Heat 4. But before we get into the video, shout out to my donators, Meme King, Hendrick48 Fan, Madden, Skirka, Inside Uranus, and Reverend Rasheem Store. Links to their channels will be in the description below. So without further ado guys, let's get started. So, in the NASCAR Heat 4 gameplay that was released during the eNASCAR Heat Pro League race at Chicagoland, one of the clips showed a late model at Eldora with the dirt track logos of the tracks that will be in NASCAR Heat 4 on the side of the late model. Now remember this is from an early build so new tracks not said in this video could be added but from looking at the track logos on the side of the late model and using the gameplay presented that is an early build as our evidence. These were the tracks we were able to figure out that will be in NASCAR Heat 4 for the Dirt Series. So this is the screenshot from the gameplay trailer and you can very clearly see the track logos for the Dirt Tour tracks that will be in NASCAR Heat 4 which are, I hope I'm saying this right, Texas, Dreben, Bristol, Jefferson, Taggart, Richmond, Charlotte, and Las Vegas. Now, those tracks sound familiar because they were the same tracks that were in Heat 3, and if you take a look at the Heat 3 Dirt Late models, the same logos for the same tracks are in the same order on the side of the car, and you can clearly see that the fonts and the size of the logos match from Heat 3's Dirt Late models to Heat 4's Dirt Late models. Now, I can confirm that Eldora will be in the Dirt Series for Heat 4 due to the screenshot you will see on your screen. You can also see the late models driving around Eldora, so that makes, as of right now, 9 total tracks in the Dirt Series for NASCAR Heat 4, which just happens to be the same 9 tracks that were in Heat 3 for the Dirt Series. Now, this is subject to change because these late models are from an early build and these are the same dirt late models from last year, so more tracks could be introduced, but it isn't likely because it looks like 704 Games is just going to recycle the dirt series from Heat 3 and input it into Heat 4, along with all the dirt tracks from Heat 3, which in my opinion is completely fine. Also, another thing that I have found out is that it looks like the only new late model that will be in Heat 4, once again this could change, will be Tony Stewart's late model because if you look at all the late models from the gameplay that was publicly released, it looks like Tony Stewart's late model is the only new car and every other late model has been recycled and Tony Stewart's late model doesn't have any of the Dirt Track logos on the side of the car. Now, another confirmation that I found in the gameplay trailer that I found interesting was that it looks like a bumper cam will be in NASCAR Heat 4. In the screenshot shown, someone was driving in Heat 4 in this camera angle, which is on the front bumper of the car, and we haven't been able to play a NASCAR Heat game using the bumper camera before. The bumper camera was also used in the Dirt series during the publicly released gameplay clips, so it's official the bumper camera will be available in all four series in NASCAR Heat 4. So before I close this video out, I'm just going to give my opinions on some things mentioned in this video. I'm actually happy the bumper camera was added into Heat 4. I think it's cool and it will give the player a different perspective when driving if they decide to use it. I'm also personally okay with the fact 704 Games didn't add a lot of new stuff to the Dirt series because what it did was it gave 704 Games more time to focus on the gameplay aspect of the game like the multi-groove racing for example and we had a Dirt series overhaul last year for Heat 3 so for 704 Games to recycle the Dirt series for Heat 4 is completely fine in my opinion. So that will do it for today's video. Thank you guys all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. Comment down below your opinions about the Extreme Dirt Tour in NASCAR Heat 4. And don't forget to subscribe with notifications on so you can be notified every time I upload a new NASCAR Heat 4 news video like this one. So I'll see you guys in my next live stream or in my next NASCAR Heat 4 news video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. IDK out. And I got this soda Remy boys and